the Atacama Desert Chile. High in the Andes, this is one of the driest places on Earth. Here, physicist Dick Kurz plans to build the world's biggest radio telescope, capable of gazing into the furthest reaches of the universe. It's the largest astronomical project in existence. I'm a very, very firm believer that's for the advancement of mankind. The more we know, the better. The antennas will be built in countries around the world and transported in sections to the ALMA base camp, where they will be put together. The team's greatest challenge is moving the assembled antennas more than 17 miles from base camp up to their foundations on the plateau, 16,400 feet above sea level. Engineer Brian Hoff will be overseeing the mountain move. The antenna is a large piece of equipment. It weighs about 115 tons, and it's an awkward shape. So Brian's team designed a special road transporter to drive the antennas up to the plateau. The specially built transporter is an engineering wonder. The frame of the transporter is constructed in a U-shape to spread the weight of the antenna evenly across the ground. Two angled rails keep the massive dish stable as it's lifted on board. The truck is fitted with 28 wheels in 14 pairs, which turn independently in any direction to give the vehicle unparalleled maneuverability. To ensure the driver has a clear view of the wheels and the edges of the road, the driver's cabin is beneath the frame. The 1,500-liter engines take the only space that's left. Top speed of this fully laden behemoth is nine miles per hour. These machines are very beautiful machines. They're very impressive all the, the thought that went into their design and construction. This transporter is a high-tech piece of equipment. It's got its own computer and its own specific software. Here's the cabin. The transporter is equipped with a whole series of cameras. It's basically like a surveillance system. Here's the camera that's looking down on the wheels so the operator can see what's happening, and what objects are present, and the condition of the road that they're driving over. This machine is speciality for this project. I need to understand all the system. If you don't understand the system, you can't to drive this machine. It's impossible. I love this truck. So this transporter's name is Lori. I believe everybody that gets to work with these machines is personally attached to them. I think this machine is mine. <laughs> We're lifting one of the world's most precise radio antennas up a mountain. So this transporter vehicle has a specific hydraulic system to distribute the weight over the different wheels. It looks like a centipede, and that's to spread the load like, over as much real estate, as much area as possible. Another mode of the transporter driving is what we call 360, where the transporter can stay in one position, and its wheels can turn in a sense that the whole vehicle can spin directly around without going forward or backwards. With all the differentials locked, this vehicle is actually 28 by 28 wheel drive. <laughs> 